good Wednesday morning to everybody. Nice, clear, crisp sky. People are on their way to work. I'm already at work. I guess there's a few clouds. It's supposed to get cloudy this afternoon. Chance of rain for the rest of the week. And we need it because it's dry. I showed that yesterday. So, just another little excerpt for my weekend review. And as normal, I'm going to work early so I can get an early start on the day. But I got work to fixing to do first instead of planting right away. And I got to top off on on uh, fertilizer but you can see standing here in front of my tractor and this yay sticky already and I love fertilizer valves leaking right here so I think I put a new valve and stuff in yay now I'd film all that I had a GoPro or a way to hold my camera and show it, but I don't. So I guess it'll be a before and after thing. And then I'll probably film putting fertilizer in. And we'll go from there for the day. <clears throat> and it's supposed to be windy. As you can see, the old flags are floating up there. So it's a little breeze, about eight mile an hour, but it's supposed to get up to like 20 today. So won't be much filming going on outside. Fortunately, that's kind of how that goes around here. The wind blows a lot in the springtime. So, I'd feel more out and about doing stuff. Uh, got, got the uh, packing wheel, closing wheel uh, fixed yesterday. Had one of them seize up bearings. And, which is about normal. This planter's a 2013 model, so we're talking it's got uh, nine season on it, not quite ten. Because they're going to get used the, the first year. So, and then we added fertilizer, the two by two to it. Um, this is its third year. So, anytime you put fertilizer around stuff and spray chemicals and stuff like that, things get rusty. Things don't like it as well. Uh, so, on top of them being about 10 years old and a little fertilizer, well, we're. We're finding the ones that are going bad on us. I did a couple last year. So far, I've only done one this year. So I guess it's not so bad after, what am I up to? 700 acres or something like that. And then uh, did six, just a little over 100 acres yesterday. Had a late start. Had bills I had to go stop and pay so I can come to work right away. And then um, that packing wheel. So little, little, it didn't take long to fix, but it's still enough to throw you out of not planting so anyhow 100 acres is better than nothing that's kind of what we strive for is no less than 100 acres and if you can get more than that it's a pretty deep it's a decent day and i know there's there's any other farmers that are actually watching this are thinking man 100 acres ain't very much well probably right you know um but are you planting 16 rows at a time or 12 rows at a time or are you planting 24 and 36 you know it makes a difference on how wide that planter is and how much you cover Makes a difference how long your rows are and how often you got to turn around and point rows and little rows and that kind of stuff and how your setup is as far as your systems go for fertilizer and putting seed in and that kind of stuff. Um, you know, we use pro boxes for the most part, which, you know, out there, everybody, hardly anybody don't get seed in pro boxes anymore. Fortunately, we still get a few bags, but, uh, we have a chute we put on the bottom of the pro box and then I use our telehandler and put it up above there where the fill, fill uh, lids are there on the CCS tanks. So takes two of us. Yes. <laughs> yes. And yes. I would love to have a JM or Uniferth uh, seed tender. Trust me. It would make my job easier because then I could just, we could just fill the, the seed tender and I wouldn't need any help. I could just do it, you know. Uh, way better for putting talc on instead of sprinkling the talc in as you're putting seed in. Because every time we do that, the wind's blowing and I eat half of it. <clears throat> so, anyway, that's a little bit for today and I better get started or I won't get anywhere or get any planting done and I want to get done. So, I'll let this go for now. 
I'll show you an after of the valve and topping off fertilizer. So we'll catch everybody a little bit later.